Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So finally, I am able to finish the book Designing Data Intensive Application. And in this video, I'm gonna cover a few things around this. So the first thing is why I picked this book. Second thing is who can read this book? Who should read this book? Uh, third thing is the high, oh, high level overview of this book. Uh, fourth one is that uh, how much time I took to finish it, what was my reading routine. And the last one is, is it useful? What I learned out of it. So let's, let me answer it one by one. So why I picked da designing data intensive application. I read a lot of books. If you will go to my website, nehasharma.dev, I have a dedicated page where I share my monthly updates on reads. I keep experimenting with genres and I really wanted to start with the technical books. So this is a book which is highly recommended if you will go to Reddit, Google, anywhere for the technical people. I had this book in India, but I, unfortunately I never read that. But this time I decided let me pick this book and start reading it. I started with the ebook, however, I was not able to follow. So I'm not an ebook person. So I finally then ordered the physical book and start reading it by myself. So this is why I picked this book. Now, who should read this book? I would suggest anyone from the tech background should read it. If you are a student doing your in computer engineering, if you are a front end developer, back end developer, it doesn't matter. You should read this book. This book is not dependent upon any programming language. This book talks about that as its title says that if you have to design a data intensive application. So nowadays, whatever the pro websites application we see it's all about data so if you are gonna work on such data uh, application then what are the things you need to consider this book covers it and if you are a student you should know this if you are a working professional you should know this irrespective of you are a front end or back end like in my example i spend my most of my career in front end but reading this book helps me help me a lot and i would say now the line between front end and back end is no longer there it's like full stack role so everyone should read it now I know few of you would be saying that, oh, come on, no one can learn programming by reading a book. I do agree, but you need to remember that this book is not about teaching you ReactJS or jQuery or Java. This book is talking about designing the systems. It is talking about that if you are gonna design a system, what are the things you need to take care? How you need to take care? What are, if you are gonna scale it up, then what are the problems can come and all these things. So this is a fundamental books focusing on fundamentals and reading those fundamentals are important before you are jumping on hands-on like in my example i read i knew a few things before reading this book and now i learned few more things which i'm gonna go and do the hands-on and no one is stopping you from doing the hands-on so you can go ahead and do pick this book and start doing the implementation of replication partition uh, all these things but the most important thing is you should be clear with your fundamentals so that's why uh, please if you can if you have interest do read this book now the next thing is uh, the overview of this book so this book is actually divided into three sections the first section is uh, fundamentals basically let me read the first section for you which is foundation of data system it talks about it just set up the you know fun base of this book where it talks about that if you are designing a data system what are the fundamental features of this uh, very easy read uh, i knew already this so very quick read then it goes to data models and query language that what kind of models we have in storage and how you can query them i already knew about this so again very quick read and then come the storage and retrieval this is the most interesting chapter for me from section one I worked with databases, I work with data, but I never bothered to never bothered to think about that, how database store under layer the data and retrieve it. So for me, this was interesting. And now if I, uh, if I think somewhere I knew, but I never bothered to, you know, 
deep dive into this so for me this this particular third chapter storage and retrieval was pretty interesting in section one and then con comes the encoding and ev evolution already knew about this that how to what are the formats to encode json xml binary and uh, how the data flow works all this so section one is the quickest read i would say uh, for anyone who has knowledge about data and then come the section two which is the most interesting chapters uh, section for me which talks about the distributed data so basically once you have built the whole data system now you want to scale it you want to distribute it what are the things you need to take care what are the problems could come like replication partition all these things in this section to uh, the authors talked uh, talked about and what are the troubles with distance uh, with your distributed system consistency consensus so for me there were few things i knew but in this book they went into good depth so i learned a lot from this and i actually started having a lot of interest in a lot of topics and then comes the chap section three which talks about when you have a lot of data then you can either do batch processing on it or the stream processing on it so it's again talk about what what is batch what is processing oh uh, sorry stream what are the problems how you can manage it and so on the last chapter is the future of data systems which is basically from the point of view of author that how the data system should be author has already put it that it's from the point of view of him it's his opinions if you don't agree it's fine so to be honest i didn't read this book it's not like that i don't respect his opinion it just uh what was my goal to read and learn more about data system and this particular chapter was not fitting in that so i skipped it uh now if you will ask me two things i will love to share that if i have to reread this i will not start with section 1 because i know that i will directly jump to section 2 which is the most interesting uh part of this book if you are totally fresher you can start with the section 1 now you don't need to even go through the sequence you can jump to any chapter of your interest you can do this so the good thing about technical books is you don't need to follow the sequence that you have to do chapter one then chapter two chapter three you can jump around so that's a good thing so yeah now the next thing is how much time it took me to finish this book because if you will see this is this thick with my full-time job personal commitments it took me three months to finish it however i was not reading every day uh, and also i was now not having goal that i will finish 10 pages or five pages every time no i was like i tried i was trying to read every day uh, plus i reread a lot of sections because for me the goal of reading a technical book was not to finish it fast but to actually uh, observe and understand the information it is giving giving so that's why i read reread few section there were few section which i totally skipped because i was not able to understand so that's fine but overall it took me three months to finish this book i didn't join any book club i was not the part of any group study or nothing uh, yeah but it took me three months now the last thing is is it good is it helpful is it have have i learned anything so while I was reading this book, I was also doing one-on-one -on -one system design discussion and collaboration with developers. Uh, and during few sessions, there were few concepts which I read in this book and I was able to implement uh, while discussing those. So for me, that was the validation that this book is very, very helpful. Because if I haven't read this book and I was doing those collaboration, I won't be able to give the such suggestions or such solution so for me that was the first validation also before reading this book my knowledge uh, versus now has improved a lot regarding the data systems backend uh, at least i know that what are the things i need to take care in distributed systems uh, for example the clocks i i was not much aware of the unreliable clocks we have and while reading this book i'll I actually read about it so for me it was like wow I, I never thought about it so yes th this book helped me I had few scenarios where I can s got the validation that by after reading this book or while reading this book my lot of knowledge is getting used while working on the backend problems system design problems 
and i was able to discuss with and help the not help but share with other developers so for me it is a good book to read i hope this will help you or inspire you to start reading technical books now what next i am reading i have already picked distributed systems uh that's the next book i'm going to start reading the interest came because of this book only data designing data intensive applications so the next book i'm going to read is the uh distributed system i hope this video was helpful for you i will see you in the comment section if you have any feedback anything you want to share let me know take care bye